NASA's massive moon rocket is still sitting on launch pad 39B at the Kennedy Space Center. Engineers are working to understand the fuel leaks and engine troubles that forced the space agency to scrub this morning's launch. Skylar Henry is at the Kennedy Space Center with the latest on the Artemis 1 mission. The Artemis 1 rocket is still holding in a launch countdown, and NASA officials say engineers will be back at work Tuesday analyzing data from Monday morning's scrub launch. The team worked through a number of issues today. Uh, the team was tired at the end of the day, and we just decided that it was the best to knock it off. Many of the issues stemmed from fuel leaks that forced crews to repeatedly stop and start fueling overnight. Leak detection equipment went off and uh, stopped the fill of liquid hydrogen during fast fill. Crews were able to mostly fill the tanks when they discovered an engine bleed that couldn't be remedied. This is a brand new rocket. It's not going to fly until it's ready. There are millions of components of this rocket and its systems. The earliest opportunity to try again would be this Friday afternoon, but that all depends on whether engineers can fix the engine bleed. Monday's scrub was a disappointment for thousands of people who flocked to the Space Coast hoping to witness the launch of NASA's most powerful rocket. Vice President Kamala Harris was among the visitors. She met with astronauts and got a tour of the hardware for the next two moon missions, Artemis 2 and 3. The work that happened today was a test that is also going to teach us what we can learn about what was working and what wasn't working. Innovation requires this kind of moment. The Artemis program hopes to land people on the moon's south pole as early as 2025 and set the stage for a possible landing on Mars. Skyler Henry, CBS News at the Kennedy Space Center. Here's a look at the launch site at Kennedy Space Center. We'll continue following all the developments from NASA throughout the week as we approach the new launch of the Artemis 1 spacecraft this Friday.